what is up everybody so you guys ask and you guys will receive this is my first place locals hero deck profile for the july 1st 2021 format this hero deck list was specifically made for the updated ban list however with that being said it completely swept my locals this past weekend beating out two ditrons and eldage and i forgot the other deck but it was a meta deck as well you guys can check out the vlog if you guys want to see all that and i honestly believe this is the best hero deck list i've made in a while way better than omni heroes is going back to the basics with trinity hero combos and much more but before we get to the actual um profiles i want to say i hope you guys subscribe for more and also let's get this video up to 500 likes 500 likes is always a video goal moving forward now Straight to the monster lineup. One, two, three. Elemental Stratos. Staple on the deck. I don't care what nobody says. I don't care what no other no other YouTuber says. Now I know everything is player preference, so that's no shot at nobody specifically. However, I believe just like when any deck with any searcher, like for example, Satella Nice, they need three nebs. Heroes need three Stratos. Stratos, second effect, the pop back row comes in so clutch as well. You want to run three. Specifically because he can blow up back row. You guys would be surprised how many times I forced Eldritch to make plays by popping their back row and just completely OTK my opponent with Fusion Destiny right afterwards. So, really good card. You run it at three, no exceptions. Now, this is a 40 card main deck, for my, which is different from my regular deck list. I cut it down to 40 because I wanted to see my hand traps more. This is a hand trap specific deck list. Also, with that being said, I had to trim the fat. The fat was being... Was, Solid Soldier and three Cosmic Cyclones. I pushed all of my back row hate to the side deck. So, and there's no Solid Soldier in the um, main deck, but there is a Liquid Soldier, two Shadow Mist for the Element to Hero lineup. Shadow Mist is standard. I think two Shadow Mist is accepted by the community now. Um, a lot of people like to do two Liquid, and I don't blame them. Two Liquid could be clutch. However, one is still doing me some good, but I can definitely see cases where two is really good as well. One of Dust of Gold, like I said, if you ain't trying to um, win, if you ain't got this card, if you're playing Heroes. Now, if you're playing a budget build, just add more hand traps if you can't afford to get Dust of Gold. Oh yeah, I forgot the Honesty Nails. You, wonder, you run to one Honesty Nails because Honesty Nails and Trinity, that's three attacks with 7,500, which is usually game. It actually helped me win my game three against Eldritch on Saturday, so yeah. Destiny Hero Lino. One Plasma, staple. Um, some Hero players don't like Plasma. I know there's another Hero player in my um, city. He does not like Plasma. I like Plasma because it gives me another option just in case I can go Dark Law. And it also helps when my opponent makes cards that says you cannot use your extra deck. Plasma usually hits the field and it catches people off guard. So Plasma is good at one. When the Plasma support comes out, which is the one that concerts Plasma and protects your board from targeting, definitely going to be running that stuff as well. So see a future update on that. One Celestial. I like Celestial because in the grind game, which is when you want to use this card, he helps you draw too. Now there's other cards like Decider that you run. I personally like helping out the grind game. If you guys don't care about the grind game, you guys can run Decider or um, Draw Guy. I like Celestial. Been running it since it came out, and I have not regretted it yet. One Dino Tag because it's Dino Tag. You need it for the combos. Two Mally because you can't run three. Um, two Increase. Two Vion. Three Ferris. I do know there's a build floating around where one increase was viable and that's good for the people who are doing it however i'm the type of guy i don't want to take the chances of risking opening up my one increase because without this engine the deck gets really stall and really dull really fast so you need to just in case you open up the one i don't care what anybody says now in those rare cases you might open the two you're just gonna have to probably either lose that game anyway however this has been working for me this has been working for a lot of other hero players i know so all player preference man all player preference now for what you guys want to see the hand traps three ash blossom arguably the best hand trap in the game i've been running three since i got my hands on three and i haven't got rid of them yet one of the best cards ever printed three droll and lightbird this is a meta call a lot of decks like dragoonities um drytron um heroes uh if you want to go on a rogue that tip a lot of decks are searching a lot and dragon link as well searches a lot this can just literally shut a deck's turn off. Tri Brigade, this helps out against Tri Brigade. Um, yeah, and honestly, the reason why I'm not running Super Poly, because I know a lot of you guys are going to ask me that, because I figured why Super Poly 
when I can just shut their turn off. Shutting the turn off comes in more clutch than super poly because if you shut their turn off and they pass, you can just OTK them because Heroes is a high OTK deck. And honestly, that's what I literally did all weekend. Draw you, ash you, you pass, and I OTK you. We go to game two, we play with the side deck. Really simple, honestly. And with that being said, three in perm. Um, and that's honestly good. In perm is good because Tri Brigade is a thing. And yeah, it comes in so clutch against that matchup. Oh, Tri Brigade was the first deck I played against round one on Saturday. And I beat that deck too. In perm and Ash playing work. Three Fusion Destiny. Oh my God, it's bad. I think we've all decided this card is good now. Ain't a point of explaining that. One card, Dark Law. One card, everything else. If you guys want to see hero combos, I'm not going to do combos in this video. You guys can watch my deck profile from last month where I go over a lot of hero deck combos towards the end of the video. But yeah, man. Three Fusion Destiny, no exceptions. Hero lives. Some people love it. Some people hate it. Sometimes I side it out. Ultimately, it's an extender. And like I tell people, it's an extender that can help you win the game. It's Ash Blossom Bait. Why not have it? Um, if you hero lives in the Stratos, you pretty much got full combo if you have another hero in your hand. So I don't see no reason not to run this card other than you're just scared of taking life once. One Poly, one Dark Calling, one Miracle, Call by the Grave, three Mass Change. I think all these are pretty much explainable. Let me explain Call by the Grave. I noticed in the format a lot of combo decks run this card, and I thought to myself, why am I not running this card? Call by the Grave used to be Monster Reborn. Like I said, I do like to play for the grind game. However, I do have to respect the fact that that turn one is clutch, and turn one, I'd rather open Call by the Grave than Monster Reborn. Um, it helped me against Eldridge on Saturday. It helped me against um, Dry Shrine on Saturday. So overall, solid card, man. I love it. So like I said, that's the main deck, 40 card main deck. Time to the extra deck is really good. Um, one Trinity, OTKs for days. One Shining, even though I'm not playing the Super Poly build, Shining comes in so clutch. Mid game, when I'm abusing Wonder Driver, I'll get to that in a second. On Saturday, I bring out Shining against, um, I believe it was Eldritch. He popped Shining, which led me into my Trinity play because I went Miracle Fusion Shining. I already had Poly set off of the Wonder Driver. He popped Shining, I add back. Um, Liquid and I add back. Shadow Mist. <laughs> so I went ahead and Poly off my monster on the board. Liquid Shadow Mist. Search out, um, honestly, Neos. Drew two off the Liquid, and that was just game right there because Trinity was 7,500. So, so broken. Shining is clutch. Ab zero, you guys already know it's clutch. Anytime he leaves the field, blow the board. Help me out against Drytron on Saturday. Drytron composed him. He left, and I blew up his board. GG, no re. Sunriser, um, staple. Bane, like I said, if you can't afford it, play more hand traps or play another generic hero monster. Dangerous for the one card Dark Law combo. Dystopia for the two card OTK combos is that can do. Um, literally, if you open up Stratos and, Dyst and Fusion Destiny, that's game. If your opponent doesn't have anything, they bring out a Dystopia, burn it for 1600, do a combo, and it's pretty much GG no re. Um, Divine win. Now, it was either going to be this or the other win mass hero. That's all player preference. Um, I didn't have the other win mass hero on me, but my homie Tony loaned me this one. So, shouts to him. I read this card effect, and I'm like, this card could be pretty legit, this format. I'm actually going to keep this in over the other one because not only does he let you draw a card by killing a monster by battle... He also can be destroyed by battle, and he forces your opponent to only attack with one monster. So if your opponent tries to attack you, they can only attack with one monster. And I think this can be really good against decks like Eldritch. So one of, and plus you mainly just use this, the wind monster stuff for Stratos can dodge, infinite permanence, effect veilers, and things like that. That's the main reason why you run it. Um, acid for the acid ab zero combos, two dark law, and then dread decimator, two cross resetter, wonder driver, bro. I underestimated that card a lot, bro, and I really apologize to everybody who I told that Wonder Driver was trash. Wonder Driver is not trash. This card literally won me games on Saturday, y'all. It won me a lot of games due to the fact that of how cool it is when you just combo out and just re keep recycling your polys, keep recycling your Miracle Fusions, things of that nature. So, yeah, man, uh, Wonder Driver is really broken, and I definitely um, highly recommend it, bro. Highly recommend it. So... Now to the side deck, which you guys want to see. Now side deck, I ran three Dark Rules no more because even though I'm not running Super Poly, I'm not dumb. We need to break boards, and why not run Dark Rules no more instead of um, Super Poly? It's better off the top deck than Super Poly. Help me win a game on Saturday against uh, I forget, I think Drytrons. Three Twin Twister, Feather Duster for back row decks. Um, once again, Twin Twisters, Feather Duster is clutch against back row decks like Eldridge, um, Stall decks like Subterra. You got to run these four cards, no exceptions. Artifact Lancia, 
Once again, I'd rather run a card that can shut off a turn. And against decks like Dinosaur still, Lancia can still shut off turns. Against any decks that's running the PK engine, any decks that's running anything that banishes out of Graveyard, like Eldritch even, this can literally shut their turn off. So you can shut their turn off on their turn, and on your turn, you just OTK. That's pretty much my strategy playing this deck. Two Skull Monsters, two Ghost Bells, one Psycho Reader. Psycho Reader is for the Drytron because they all are light monsters that's trying to be recycled. Ghost Bells is good for Trap Brigade, stopping their trap. And Skull Monsters are good for any card in effect that has an effect that activates in the Graveyard. And yeah, man, this is pretty much our hero deck profile in detail, man. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below. Um, like the video if you're new here and subscribe for more. Once again, man, this is your boy coming to you guys another first place deck list for heroes. And I'm signing out, man. Peace and stay innovative. Deuces. You guys have a great day.